Hey, hey, what is happening? Good evening. Welcome to a, a Saturday primetime episode of uh, me going live. Not Hobby Evolution, but we are digging through a 25 cent box that I bought at the Rockford Card Show earlier today. Um, I didn't buy much. I had actually a great day of sales. My regular vendor dealer that I buy in bulk from did not make the trip. He lives over in, in Indiana, so he didn't make the trip. Um, so I walked the show toward the end. It was a busy show, so I really didn't have much time to, 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 uh, to talk about, uh, uh, to talk to other vendors. Just checking my, um, so I was walking around and, uh, I was digging through this, uh, What's up, Tim? Goodbye. Let's find out. I haven't started digging in. I was I was flipping through this box. The dealer said, uh, I'll sell the whole box for 30 bucks. And I'm thinking, okay, yeah, there's baseball. That's kind of what I'm looking for. There's baseball. There's some stuff that I can move on eBay for a couple bucks. What's up, Ken? Tim? Um, so I'm like, yeah, let's do it. I didn't buy anything else. I, I didn't buy any Cubs. There was there was a lot of stuff. There's some cool stuff. I've got some stories I'm gonna share. Some really cool stories I'm going to share um, with a couple of dealers that I was talking with today. So I'll talk about those tomorrow morning on Hobby Evolution. What's up, Adam? This should be fun. I'm I'm looking forward to it because I actually I haven't gone through this box outside of just kind of flipping through it when I was at the card show. Again, I paid thirty bucks for it. So let's let's go ahead and make sure that doesn't fall off the table. Also, sell me all the mowers. Okay, let's move the camera over here. I've got the, the Chiefs game, Chiefs-Broncos game going on. So I know nothing about soccer. So basically, these are probably going to go either into my 25, probably my 25-cent box. Um, so we've got some numbered Elite Extra Edition. This is Tommy Henry, numbered to 250. Uh, Tommy Henry from the Diamondbacks. We've got Matt Gorski of the Pirates, number nine ninety nine. How many cards roughly? It's a it's a two row box, so I'd probably say there's probably what's a two row box? A thousand, maybe a thousand cards. I don't know. Tristan English, also the Diamondbacks, number nine ninety nine. So I don't think Elite Extra Edition did uh, base cards to nine ninety nine this year because I bought into some breaks and I I got some. Here's a a soccer rookie card, Federico Bonazzoli. Again, I know nothing about soccer cards, but these were in somebody else's 25 cent box. So I'm guessing probably 25 cent cards. I also have a story about my own bargain box. Somebody came up to me and asked if I searched my, hello, my wife's home, um, and said that there was a $50. Clay Thompson rookie card in one of my 25 cent boxes that they bought. Um, he's like, I don't know if you wanted to know that. Here's a, I saw this one was not, numbered to 99. I saw this was up at the front of the box when I pulled it. So um, I think that's great because that's what I do as, as a buyer myself in bargain boxes. Boom Heron, kind of a unique border there. Um, I think it's cool. Somebody got a $50 card out of my, one of my 25 cent boxes. And it's a good story to tell, like, as it's, it's great advertisement because there were about three guys, uh, Blake Bortles number to 50. Um, there were a couple guys at my looking, through, looking through the cards and how's that for great, that's great advertisement. Somebody comes up and they're like, I found a $50 card in one of your boxes. Um, here's Dayson Brown. That's number to 250. Brian Rocchio, that's number to 150. More soccer. Matt Festa, these are the silver ice parallels. Joey Wentz, Cespedes die cut. Here's an Espino, number to 999. LeMayhew, James Jett. Uh, here we've got a rookie, Tyson Campbell, Philip Rivers, Juju Smith, Kamara, Paxton. No Cubs in this first pile. What the heck? Dwayne Eskridge, Elite Series. So. You know, a lot of these cards, I don't, I'm, I'm not expecting, again, I bought, I also bought this at the end of the show. 
where it's probably been picked through. So not expecting, you know, a, a bunch of killer cards in here. I'm, I'm so sick of looking at these prism draft. Uh, here's a Clay Thompson, some type of, of parallel. Tommy Pham, that's number to 299. Um, one of my pet peeves, and this doesn't bother me because it's a quarter box, but I think serial number cards should at least be penny sleeved. Um, and I have a pet peeve when it comes to dollar boxes. I think dollar boxes should be in top loaders or card savers. And I don't think there's an excuse now. There's not quite the shortage that what we saw last year in terms of top loaders and they're not crazy price. Like you can, you can get top loaders brand new, a case of brand new top loaders from a Columbia hobby for, I think 70 or 80 bucks. What's up peeps. So um, I think this is a green parallel for Kelsey. Um, so I just, I really don't waste my time. If a, if a bargain box, if a dollar box and a lot of these, see, this is like, this is why I would, pay like a premium on a 25 like this is not these are not score is not a 25 cent card um they're like nickel cards so these will probably either go in my common boxes or you know some of the bigger name players i'll uh put in my quarter boxes so here we've got a purple foil edwin diaz so here we've got some don russ foils altuve name variation bieber Jeff McNeil, Suarez, Severino, Red Foil, Miguel Andahar. He really kind of fell off the map, didn't he? Carl Joseph. I don't even know who Carl Joseph is. Altuve, some type of parallel. Candelario. I think those are the Red Flame, maybe. We've got uh, Splash, Chris Middleton. That's a pretty cool card. Here we've got... I think this is a parallel. Lissandro Magallan. How many cards were in the... I'd say a 1,000. It's just a two-row box. So I think... What, what's a two-row? It's you know it's not... I mean, it's not jam-packed, but it was full. Um, Darren Waller, Michael Thomas, Mike Evans. These look to be all green. Saquon Barkley. Justin, what's up? Always on the air. Justin, I was down in Illinois at a card show today. Rockford had a good day in sales. Actually, probably my best day, Randy. Is that, yeah, Randy Moss. Probably my best sales day, um, Antonio Brown. Probably my best sales day at the Rockford show. Um, the first show I did, I had... Uh, a lot of my quarter boxes and, and they hadn't been sifted through several shows. Um, so I didn't hear some hoops parallels. So these, these might sell for like a buck 50. So, you know, a thousand cards again, 30 bucks, roughly a thousand cards. A lot of them will go in common boxes. These I'll probably put on eBay for, you know, a buck 50, no big names in here. Tristan Thompson, um, Kong Wu, We've got a rated rookie, flashy orange thing. Might put that in a dollar box. We've got Mo Bamba, Cam Reddish, Shake Milton, Patrick Beverly. What I like about these boxes is they're all over the place. Basketball, football, baseball, even soccer. I had another guy. I think it's the same guy that came up to me, Kendrick Nunn, rookie. Uh, same guy that came up to me at my show. Um last month asking if I wanted to buy soccer in bulk. Oh, hey, Darius Garland. I'm going to set that aside right there. That's probably a 2 or $3 card. Oh, and this is uh, like the purple. Might be a 3 or $4 card. So those, those two right there getting me close to my initial investment. I like it. Uh, and I said, no, I don't want the, the soccer I have. I don't want. That's why it's in the dollar box. Uh, Mo Bamba, a distant cousin of La Bamba. Uh, ben Simmons. So we've got these, these fancy stuff. So I did, uh, I'm, I'm not going to share too much of my card show strategy today because I'm going to save it for tomorrow's Hobby Evolution video, um, which I'll probably go live tomorrow between 8 a.m. and 9 a.m. Central. 
Um, so I, I altered my card show strategy today. And if you've watched Hobby Evolution, you've known that I was going to do it. And I'll Debo Samuel insert full throttle. It's a nice card. It's like the the, <laughs> the better cards haven't been sleeved. Uh, Claypool and Edwards Hilaire rookies. My, how the the mighty have fallen on Clyde Edwards Hilaire in the hobby when his base rookies were selling for whatever they were after week one last season, and now they're in the 25 cent box. So, nothing crazy. Um, oh, hey, we've got a Nico Horner. So, this is the first cub out of the box. I actually, I'm, I'm kind of tired of buying football and basketball in bulk. There was a time, especially in the summer, um, where I wanted to to buy more bulk football and basketball just for to bulk up my eBay store. Um, I I was weak on quarter boxes in in the football basketball section, um, and now it's like I just I don't know the market, so I'm having to. I'm having to comp stuff that like the clay Thompson, like I didn't even know, like I, I cherry pick, like if I would have known that clay Thompson was a $50 card, it would not have been in my dollar or in my 25 cent box for civil rights president. Is that uh, so who is this? Is this Rutherford B Hayes? I have no idea. It is James Garfield, James Garfield. So there's a little trivia for you. Anthony ghosts. This is uh, number to 309. That's not too bad. Not too shabby. We'll set him aside. We got Ben Roethlisberger, Mike Strahan, the Colts. These are kind of cool. These prestige. Got some stars on them. Ryan Tannehill, Noah Fant, Jarvis Landry, Philip Lindsay. So I'm about halfway through row one. Um. Got some illusions. I like illusions. Oh, TJ Watt press proof. That's probably a couple bucks. I'm gonna set him on the side. Got is this from the new? Yeah, this is the new holiday. This is my my very first 2021 Tops holiday card. Nick Bosa, Dalton Varshow, Josh Akogi. Here we've got some select. Some Cardinals rookies. Must have been in a Cardinals break. Chad, <laughs> a lot of Cardinals rookies. Charles Harris. Let's see. Some more greens. A green of green. Nick Bosa, Johnny Smith. We've got Daniel Jones, DeAndre Hopkins, Joey Bosa. Some select basketball rookies. Caleb Martin, Nick Richards. It's only one Cub so far. I did get um, a couple thousand. I did get a couple thousand um, Cubs cards today. Tony Rizzo came down, not the Anthony Rizzo, but gentleman with the exact same name, Anthony Rizzo, um, came up from the Chicago suburbs, Jalen Ramsey, um, had some, had a uh, four row box filled in, in another box. So I'll be sorting through those this weekend. So I should add another 2000 plus. There was some nice vintage today, some nice pre-war cards. Um, that I did not pick any up today, but, uh, a future card show. I'm definitely going to be buying some cool Cubs pre-war stuff. This is, uh, plus, uh, Metallic Snowflake, Nick Senzel, Brandon Workman Gold, Pete Alonzo, Orange Border. I know where that's going. Brad, Texas card dude. Rainbow Foil. Here's a foil shed long. Um, this is a record. I've made three consecutive live streams. Congrats. What else did you say? You should be listing on eBay. There you go. Um, I did not put any cards on eBay yesterday. What's a DD Gregorius purple? Those are unnumbered. So these are some tops flagship uh, Evan White rookie blue. I don't know what the blue borders are. Are those retail specific to somewhere? Any bears I'll have to go back and watch. I don't think I've had, I don't think there's been a bear come up. I will say Kenyon Drake, press proof rated rookie. I'm going to set him on the side. Aaron Rodgers. Uh, Zach, I don't think there's been a bear yet. Um, I will say that this particular card show is 
full of Bears fans. Uh, in fact, the vendor that I bought these from, he had a custom, like his last name, a Bears jersey with his last name on it he was wearing today. So I'm guessing that either he pulls them or they were pulled because it's a, uh, uh, there's a ton of, I remember the, the very first Rockford show I went to, uh, was in May of last year. And like half the room was wearing bears jerseys and bears. It, it was the, like the middle of the off season. Oh, wow. This Didi Gregorius is numbered to 99 in focus, not in focus, but I'll set that on the side. Got a silver ice parallel of Travis Darnaud, Darnaud, Daniel Murphy, Joey Votto. Some die cuts. Here's a Charles Harris press proof. Brandon Coleman, that's numbered to 399. Dominique Easley. There's a foil Trey Millard. Marcus Wilson. Aaron Murray rookie. Lewis Nix. Yeah, so I think this has been cherry-picked for Bears. I don't think there's a single Bear in here. There's some Packers. Boo. A.J. McCarron. That's number to 399. Connor Shaw. So, yeah, so this is basically a, you know, a box that you would expect to, to pull. There's going to be some stuff. It's, it's, a, it's a fun, it's like, it's better than a blaster, right? I mean, it's. It's giving me more joy and more hits likely <laughs> than what a blaster would. Um, you know, I pulled some I pulled pulled a PC Nico Horner so far. Pulled a couple of uh, Darius Garland rookies. A number Didi Gregorius. Looks like some minis at the back here. Silver Ice George Kirby. Callahan. Debo Samuel, Miles Garrett. There's a Prism Refractor, Anthony Rendon. And we got a gal, uh, a Gypsy Queen Chrome. Uh, this is uh, this year's Metallic Snowflake. Pat, those are all snowflakes. Stanton, Nat Lowe. Oh, Mark's, Marcus Stroman, new Cub. This number to four ninety nine. Cesar Hernandez of the Indians. Trevon Morig. Morig. Got uh, some of these in the green foil I can't read. That's Jacob Harris. Jacob Harris. Des Fitzpatrick. Harris again. Aziz Ajulari. Schubert. Winfield. Tyreek Hill. Uh, shiny stuff. Um, let's see, is this all new stuff? So this was, uh, I think it's, it's new. I think it's, um, modern, like within the last couple of years. Here's some Ginter Chrome minis. Oh, wow. Javi Baez in a Mets uniform. Jason says so much shiny stuff. So this is nice. I like this. Even though Javi's in a Mets uniform. I don't like that. White Rhino. The Burj Khalifa. Fredrickson, who's that world leader set? Hassan Moon. There's, uh, I don't know, are, are my South Korea guys in here? I don't think so. I wonder what their thoughts are on Moon Jae In. Byron Buxton. Looks like the Cubs were cherry picked too. So far, only one Cub. So that, those are nice. Ginter Chrome Minis. Um, let's see. Uh, Ken says, sound like you should trade for Bears as well for this specific show. Shiny stuff. Nice box. OG Card Camera, what's up? Denver Broncos with the lead over the Chiefs. I've got the, the game. Actually, yeah, you can see it <laughs> on the screen. Uh, Ginter Chrome Minis could do all right. Yeah, I think so. Here's a Ginter Chrome standard. Mark Anthony. Bianca Smith. And Brim, Stilo Brim. So yeah, I think those Ginter minis, those Ginter Chrome minis will be uh, set aside for one eBay. Archive snapshots, TJ Zook, Zick, Justice Sheffield. 
more football in here. Oh, here's a Nick Gordon. I don't know if Jenny popped into the chat. Nick Gordon, number to 250 for the Twins. Cornelius Randolph, number to 990 or uh, just 99. Him over there. Gabriel Davis. Eric Cole. Nick Swinney. Pico DeGallo. Jack Flaherty, number to 2021. Send the Mark Anthony to J-Lo. John Matthews. Greg Toller. Here's a Stanton winner. Oh, wow. So isn't this isn't this the card you get when you successfully scratch off? It is. So this has got to be a pretty good card. John Carlos Stanton, winner of the Home Run Derby, 765. That seems like a high number. I had a Charlie Blackman that I had successfully won um, a couple years ago, and it was only numbered to like 60. But I think they they might do them differently now than what they did a few years ago. Here's a Peyton Turner rookie serial numbered. What's up, Jeremy? Good evening. Heading to the Tax Slayer Center. I still can't get used to uh, the that name. Mike Williams, number to 499. It will forever be the mark of the Quad Cities. And I'm sure Jeremy probably thinks the same. The mark of the Quad Cities. Used to watch. So he, you're going to see the Quad City Storm. Is that hockey? Just wanted to pop in for a minute. Appreciate it. Enjoy the game and those dollar beers. Used to go down there and watch the Quad City Mallards, the Quad City Steam Wheelers. That was the arena football team. The Mallards were the hockey team. Mallards were huge when I lived down there, or when I lived near the Quad Cities. I did see these first Bowmans when I was going through, and I've never heard of, I've heard of him, but some of these guys I've never heard of. Luis Heredia, that's numbered at 250, but I don't know who he is. Avery Romero, Colin Moran, he's good. Not numbered. Chad Pinder, Swaggerty, Nate Pearson, Camel, that's good. Still the mark to me. I figured. I figured. Michael Feliz, number to 399. Henry Mejia, that's just the gold. Uh, definitely say, yep, hockey. Mallards was such a cooler. Yeah, Mallards were, that was like a cool name. The storm is just kind of, kind of bland. These are gallery foils. Christian Walker. We've got Anthony Rendon. Back to basketball. We've got some select. Back to baseball. Some orange. Jock Peterson. Nope. Now we get some football. I, I like the mix. You never know what the next card's going to bring. Here's a Heritage Chrome. Those are numbered at 999. Jerry Judy, Drew Locke. We've got Daniel Jones, Larry Fitzgerald, Jordy Nelson. Weird seeing him in a Raiders uniform. Kind of when like the ba yeah, the Quad City River Bandits became the swing of the Quad Cities. That was oh, that was a terrible name. Fortunately, that only lasted a couple seasons. Yadi Molina. Freaking hate Yadi Molina. <laughs> uh, Eduardo Rodriguez, those are numbered to 499. Johnny Hecker, press proof. Drew Locke, is he playing? I haven't been. I, I just have the game on the background. I'm not really paying attention. I don't even know. There's a bear, just not in a bear's uniform. David Montgomery. 2117 Broncos. Is this a replay or is this actually going on right now? I don't know. Jameis Ramsey, Markel Fultz, Malcolm Perry, that's number two, 99. The game is live, okay. I The reason I asked was because down in the corner it says ESPN MMF, which I assume means Monday Night Football, but it's not Monday Night Unless I fell asleep for 48 hours and didn't know it. Christian Arroyo, number to 250. Christian Arroyo, the only the only super fractor I've ever pulled uh, was Christian Arroyo. His his uh, Topps Chrome rookie card. I pulled a super fractor. Fortunately, I sold it. 
it's one of those where it's like, man, if I sell it, he's going to be a star. If I hold it, it's not going to be worth anything. Um, there's a Miguel Sano, Jenny. Um, but I sold it for like 200 bucks, which was good. Max Kepler, that's numbered at 250. Um, and he got traded to the Tampa Bay Rays. I don't know where he's at now. Jim Edmonds. Here's some of that best wax era. Manny Ramirez. Hey, look at these. Three Manny Ramirez, 93 Fleer Ultra. I don't know if these are actually his rookie cards because 90s rookie cards confuse the hell out of me. Bro, it's Monday Night Football, but it's not Monday night. Isan Diaz. Bowman Heritage. Chris Davis. Rupnet Odor. Alex Reyes, rookie. Stadium Clover, such cool cards. Platinum Presence, number 250. Can you see it down there at the bottom? Not really. 250. Austin Beck. Oh, Nicky Lopez. That's number 250. I've heard of him. Oh, now we're getting into some good stuff. Griffin Canning, number 250. Oh, Burroughs, number 499. Oh, Gratterall, number 499. I know these are papers, so they're not really anything, but. Tommy Pham, number to 250. Zach Granite, rookie, number to 150. Nice. Got some first Bowman camos. Jorge Mateo to 250. Found the honey hole. Got my Bosa and Komet in the mail. Thanks as always. Got a piece out. Hey, thank you. I appreciate that. There's Buck Farmer, number to 499. Must be the Silvers. Yep. Got Billy Hamilton, a couple of Billy Hamilton silvers, you Darvish, Mitch Moreland, Jason Worth. What year are these stadium clubs? 2017. About halfway through the second row. So it was just a two row box. Scoreless streak, you Darvish. If only pulled one Cub. Good thing I wasn't buying this for Cubs cards. Justin Smoke. I think this is uh, serial numbered. It is two ninety nine. I haven't figured out how to like do a decent job at showing cards on camera, so I apologize if you can't see. Chris Sale, Special Forces Stanton, Tyler Wade. Paul DeYoung. So this box still had some pretty good stuff in it, despite being a Jacoby Brissett. Being an end of day, Tremaine Edmonds. But the beginning of the show, it was just, it was really hard to, uh, there, was a, there was a lot of people. So I wasn't able to, to work the room until the end of the show. Tyson Ross, 250. Jesus Sanchez, oh, Joey Bart, rookie. Gypsy Queen. Davey Garcia. So it's not an earth-shattering box. Not an earth-shattering box. But it's 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 the typical bulk buy where Vlad Jr. These sell all day for a buck fifty on eBay. And my my net profit on a dollar fifty single sale is about fifty cents. So, you know, in in Oh, Otani again. Otani's that'll sell all day for a buck fifty, maybe even two bucks. And and you'd be shocked at what some of the stuff sells for, or what some of the stuff sells on eBay. I mean, I've been selling a ton of '83 and '86 tops football. Here's a uh, Sage hit McCaffrey. From 2017, that might go for a couple bucks. Premier Draft McCaffrey, um, Eddie George. There's a name from the blast from the past, Eddie George. Um, yeah, like 83, 86 tops, like commons. Like I sold one guy bought like eight. Um, did a buck ten each. Edwin Encarnacion, number two ninety nine. Look at the TV. What do we got going on? We got third quarter, Broncos. Oh, that's not good. Oh, Chiefs pick it up. I don't know what's going on now. 
Oh wow, these are uh, these are the variations. Oh, all those are variations. I don't know if they're worth anything, but see the. I think that's supposed to be like GQ on the top, blank underneath. Yeah, so that's what it's supposed to look like. If you see, it's supposed to be logo and team name, but it's got the position and blank. Silver parallel, silver ice, Yu Chang Chang, number to 499. Oh, we've got some more silver ice. They must have printed the heck out of these. Replay, was that incomplete or a fumble? Oh, I, I wasn't paying close enough attention. They must have printed the heck out of these because I've got so many of these from what year? 2014. Brandon Nemo. Hey, our second Cub, Mark Zagunas, Silver Ice first. That's pretty cool. And now something like this, I would actually pull out of a 25. I would pay 25 cents at a card show for something like that. Um, even though I probably have one, it's unique enough. Where if it's a Topps Chrome Anthony Rizzo, I'm going to pass because I probably have a bunch. Or a Mosaic Base, unless it's somebody I need. Um, but those are the, like the, the Nico Horner I pulled. For 25 cents, I'd probably, actually, I probably would buy it for 25. Oh, this actually might be a really decent card. Roy Jones Jr. Ginter. Um, what's Tommy Lee, Bob Mar uh, Ziggy Marley. So let's, let's just real quick put the camera on Roy Jones Jr. I'm just going to look this up on eBay because some of those Ginters sell for a surprising amount. It's 2013. This one might not, I know Manny Pacquiao sells for a lot, like 70 bucks. Ginter, Roy Jones. Roy Jones, nice card. Okay, now it's probably about a 3 or $4 card, but still. Paid about a penny for it. Uh, one sold for 5 bucks, So it's, it's about a $5 card. So not bad. Not bad at all. So uh, Roy Jones Jr., I think Tommy Lee probably sells for about 5 bucks. Ziggy Marley, I'm not sure. So that was that was a nice little find. And those are some of the gems you can find in, in 25 cent boxes because it's not a lot of people really don't know the market for um for those Ginter, like uh, uh Tony Hawk sells for 10, 15 bucks. Um the Portnoy at one time was selling for a hundred. Uh, here's a Tim Duncan Tops Chrome that's from 2000. And these cards, Topps Chrome has picked up a following as well. Here's a Ron Artest Chrome Rookie. And I bet this is a – let's look up Ron Artest Chrome Rookie. Let's show Ron Artest. And let's look up the comps on him. So this is what, from 2000, I think? 2000 Topps Chrome. And some of these are – these are always Topps Chrome. Like, hmm, I wonder. We're on our test. Did the A and G egg card come back down to earth? I think it's it's still more than what it should be, but I think it sells for between five and ten. Um, I know at one time it was selling for quite a bit. Ron our test, Tops Chrome sells for about five bucks also. So um and just a couple of cards, just a few cards. Um, I can probably turn oh, and here's a second Ron our test rookie. So five bucks, five bucks. Um, so in just a few cards, we're probably going to get to probably 10 cards. I can turn 10 of these cards and make my 30 bucks back. AJ Jimenez, that's number to 250. Alex Colomay, oh, that's number to 50. Probably get a couple bucks for that. Justin Dunn, Yelich, Gary Sanchez, Altuve, Scherzer. That's uh, is this a variation with the uh, different color ink on the uh, deck ledge? So it's got bl it's blue. I don't know if I what year is that? 2018. I won't do that on on the video, but I just 
I'll I'll tweet out my results if if it is anything. Um, but I think that might be a type of variation with the blue ink on the um on the uh, what do you call it replica signature. Clint Frazier and Austin Meadows dueling die cuts. Clint Frazier, he's with the Cubs. His value is actually, oh, hey, hey, anytime you can get Mike Trout in bulk, one, two, three, four, five, six. Mike Trout sell all day for a buck fifty each. In fact, somebody will probably come along and buy them all. Um, so that's a good buy. Reese Hoskins, Christian Stewart. So I'm going to. After the video, I'll look up and, and see if those were I already looked at those. Um, if those blue inks are a type of variation. So this is there's been some nice hidden gems in here. Miggy Cabrera. Another Cabrera. Carlos Beltran. Oh, here's another trout. Barkley, Phil Jackson. Big dog, Glenn Robinson. Chicago, that's a sweet card. Bulls logo from Skybox. The initial, the uh, inaugural Skybox. Kevin Durant. Oh, wow. I think that's a Bradley Beal rookie. It is. It's got to be worth a couple bucks. I, some of these cards, I can't, I can't believe the... Ron Artest, I can believe, was still in a 25-cent box at the end of a card show. But Bradley Beal, a rookie Bradley Beal, um, I'm really surprised <laughs> that it made it. Here's a Roethlisberger press proof. Oh, Justin Jefferson press proof. Oh, a green press proof of TJ Watt. These will all sell well. This was a great deal for 30 bucks. Joe Montana, he sells well on eBay. Steven Nelson. So yeah, so this, was it worth $30? Yes, it was. Yes, it was worth $30. Uh, Travis Darnold, those purples. I don't know who has the purples now. Is it Meyer? I think Meyer has purples. All right, just one small pile left. This is the last pile of the box. Boy, row number two was much better to us than, than row number one. Some fun stuff in here. This was fun. Started out slow, that first row, man. What's up, Dan? Dan, I pulled a South Korean card. Did you say TJ Green wants sold? Miguel Cabrera. Tony Two Bags. That's a cool nickname. Wilson Ramos, purple. The die cut Eddie George. Another die cut Eddie George. Most Eddie George cards I've seen in a while. Well, in 20 years. Austin Eckler, press proof. Sonny Gray. Got Melvin Gordon, Max Kepler. Oh, here's another variation for Gypsy Queen. And there you go. That was the box. So, oh shoot, I think I put it away. Um, or is it was it a mini? If it was a mini, I can find it real quick. It was. So so Dan, Dan's with us. Do you know of this? Let me see when you have the time. It's a world leader. It's Moon from South Korea. Inter Mini Chrome. Uh, says Moon is the has made the Time Person of the Year shortlist thanks to his leadership and diplomacy as South Korea's 12th president. So the South Korean president. Yeah, so cool. So this was a good box. It was a good buy, 30 bucks. I only pulled two Cubs, but uh, I did well. Wrong hand. So that's that's the box. It was worth 30 bucks. Thank you for watching. George might want that. I'll set it aside. Um, thanks for tuning in. Um, if you're not subscribed, hit subscribe. Hit the like, please. Appreciate it. I'll be live tomorrow morning uh, between 8 a.m. and 9 a.m. Central Hobby Evolution reviewing today's card show. Some cool stories I'll share. So tune in tomorrow for that. Thanks uh, so much. Have a great night.